Hello everyone and thanks again for taking a moment with Mel. Today we are going to be talking about the second book that I read this summer. Um, it is by Dr. Nadine Burke Harris and the name of the book is The Deepest Well. She is a pediatrician and she practiced in California and what she noticed, um, she was in an underserved neighborhood and what she noticed is that there were certain symptoms that she kept on seeing some of her patients coming with and she was wanting to have some kind of way in order to help to identify what was going on and to put in place some mechanisms to help them. So what she found was a tool that was developed by another set of doctors, um, psychologists, and what we're going to be talking about is ACEs, which is Adverse Childhood Experiences. These life experiences that happen before we are 18, they, the list itself is 10 questions. The initial um, ACE scoring was from 10 questions that when the parents came in, they would have them fill it out. And what they found was, and this is research from across all demographics, not only in underserved neighborhoods, but it's also the people that did the research, they did it not only in a small vacuum, but across the nation, across racial divides, across demographics, this information is consistent. If you have six or more questions that you answer yes to, you have a 20 year less life expectancy than somebody that has absolutely no yeses. If you have four or more yeses, you're 32 times more likely to have learning and behavioral problems. Now, if you think about some of our children, whether it be that they have parents that might be alcoholics, they might have um, parents that are on drugs. They might have a parent that is incarcerated. They might have be abused in some kind of way, whether it be emotional abuse, whether it be neglect, some kind of abuse is taking place. They have found that more than 1 million neural connections are formed every second in the first years of life. So if you think about it again, there was a time that let's say if you had someone, a woman, that was in, a, in an abusive relationship, in her mind, she probably thought, okay, if I can hang in there till they're 18 years old, then they will be okay. But there are changes that are happening. If there's an environment where there's a lot of stress and there is a lot of chaos and there is abuse, there are changes that are happening when that baby is in utero. There are changes that are happening within that first two months, that first six months, that first year. So if it is a situation where both parents or the household can get counseling and help, awesome, great. But what this book tells us is that for us to think that children are not seeing, that children are not hearing, even if they can't talk, the changes are occurring internally the changes are occurring on a dna level and it is shortening their life it is affecting their well-being it is affecting the way that they respond in in school it is affecting the way that they respond in regards to seeking help so there are so many things that are affected just by our children being exposed to a certain amount of stress young when they're very young 13% of our population has four or more ACEs. And that puts them at risk for a higher incidence of alcoholism and drug abuse and suicide attempts. I myself come from a family that has high ACEs. I myself have high ACEs. I come from two generations of men that did not get a chance to raise their children. I was lucky enough later in life to have another father but my biological father did not get a chance to raise his children. His father did not get a chance to raise his children. One of his brothers didn't get a chance to raise his children. Also, my grandmothers had their own story. So all of that came into how my parents were. And then when my biological father, my first father died, then my mother had a certain amount of stress that was on her because okay, 
I'm left to carry on the dream that me and my husband had. So that carried with it a certain amount of stress and then we migrated. So I know that my family has a high incidence of ACEs and that those ACEs along with toxic stress, we have to start talking about it. We have to start taking some of these things out of the shadows. Yes, we look successful. Yes, we are successful. We are, a lot of us are very blessed, but we also have some things that we still need to work on. And the big reason why I was very excited to read this book by Dr. Harris and why she became one of my sheroes just because of the fact that it spoke to some of the things that I struggled with as I was an adolescent and as I was, you know, older in life. So these two books, the first, my first post um, that I did on what happened to you, and then also this one that I, I just, this one that you're listening to on The Deepest Well, they are two life-changing books. If you are a teacher, if you are a counselor, if you are a parent, if you are a grandparent, everybody that when you look at your family history, you have some things that you know your family struggled with, get this book. If you are in the classroom, if you are a doctor, anybody that has the ability to impact children, especially, even though as adults, yes, we still have a, a, the ability to impact how our outcome is going to be. So there is hope um, with exercise, with um, different ways to manage stress, with sometimes being seeing a psychologist. Um, we also, if you're in the United States or if you are in Canada, you can dial 211 for, um, for resources that might be able to help you. If you belong to a church, um, even if you don't belong to a church, a good church, even if you're not a member, they will be able to sit with you and help you to find resources. But from a society standpoint, we have to stop having things that are in secret that we don't deal with. Because some of those things that are in secret, they come back to really show up really big. If you think about our school, school shootings, if you think about the population that we have in the U.S. jails, if you think about the overall health condition of our society, we are not healthy. And part of us not being healthy has to do with things that happened to us when we were younger that are showing up in our DNA. And until we get to deal with those things and figure out ways to cope better with stress, we're not going to be able to get past some of these things and we're going to continue to see them from a society standpoint. So, giving you two books to read, What Happened to You and also The Deep as well. And please know that if you want to send me any comments, ask me any questions, um, I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy them because I know that they made a difference in my life and I'm hoping to be able to make a difference in others' lives just based on reading those two books. Take care.